Bonjour, Jesse. We hope you will love your new companion. I could probably wear this on my birthday. So it comes in a little uh, dust bag. Uh, let's have a little look. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. If you love shopping and handbag videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to show you guys a little bag I was gifted by Atelier's August. Now this is a true unboxing and I am absolutely shook that they reached out to me to showcase this bag on my channel. I'm really honored, honestly. Like I only have a small YouTube channel and the fact that a business like this would reach out to me. I'm honestly like shocked. Upon looking on their website, I think the bags are absolutely gorgeous. They look like really amazing leather, really minimalistic design, very French chic. This brand actually comes from Paris. Yeah, Paris. And it, it was shipped to me really fast. Like with buying luxury fashion, especially if you are not like a super duper rich person, I think a lot more people will be looking to brands like this because they're really easy to wear styles they don't break the bank they're really well made and comparing to like buying a louis vuitton or chanel bag sometimes these brands are better quality than the top brands and they're much more accessible and affordable and actually probably more wearable sometimes when you're out in the city or in certain places you don't want to be wearing a bag with a big cc on it or a big lv or even bags like a Birkin or Kelly. I think sometimes going for these contemporary brands is a really good option. Anyways, this is a true unboxing, guys, so let's get into it. You know, I'm not going to stop blabbing on. So it says, from Paris with love. Bonjour, Jessie. We hope you will love your new companion. The bag was designed in our studio in Paris and made with the finest leather in Italy. We can't wait to see you introduce our bag in your YouTube video. Oh, thank you. So that's the message they gave me. So they look for a perfect balance between quality, sustainability, and design. Uh, our products are handmade with care in limited numbers by incredibly skilled small family workshop in Italy. We use only the highest quality leather inspired by contemporary architecture. We design minimalist bags and accessories for people who share our philosophy that less is more. You don't get that from really top brands sometimes, like a handmade bag. So let's have a little look. Okay, so they've just wrapped it up for me. Oh, merci. <laughs> That's cute. I was thinking this would be really nice to wear because it's my birthday next week. So I'm like, oh, I could probably wear this on my birthday. So it comes in a little uh, dust bag. Uh, let's have a little look. Open it up. Now, I actually wanted this bag in black, um, but it's sold out. So a lot of their bags on the website are sold out because they do make them in limited quantities, but they have plenty in stock as well. And this one that I'm showing you guys is still in stock. So, so they've wrapped it up just like this. Okay, guys, so here's the bag. Oh, it's really cute. So I put I chose this bag because I thought it would be a really nice going out option for if I, I don't know, want to go out on the town or out to dinner. I don't have a lot of chain bags anymore because I sold all my Chanel bags and I thought that this would be a nice option, um, you know, just for something easy, breezy, very low key. Um, it just says the brand here on the, the closure and on the back it has a little stamping. Uh, the leather is a smooth leather, but you can see it has a slight grain to it and it feels very, yeah, it, it smells like like leather it smells really beautiful and when you open it it's just got a really actually a really hefty uh, magnet but it's not like the magnets that you know sometimes designers make the magnets too strong and it's just like you feel like you're ripping open the bag like honestly some seller rock bags the magnet is so strong that you just feel like like especially the nikki bag you're just like ah but this is this actually feels like it's um really thought out like it, it feels like it can it suits the structure of the bag but it's very secure as well so yeah very easy to open and close i like that um so on the inside it's got a pocket that says made in italy and then it's designed in paris and it's got this like um kind of suede material 
The chain feels pretty substantial as well, not too heavy either. I actually used to have a Gucci padlock bag that was a bit smaller than this and I actually sold it because it was actually, the chain was actually quite heavy and it was smaller than this, but this feels like it would actually fit quite a lot. Um, it still has the sticker on the hardware, so I'm just going to peel the sticker off so you can see the shiny hardware. Ooh! Oh! Looks like it's got like a... That's a cool texture. So it's got like a kind of shiny gold hardware. And then when you wear it, you can kind of, you know, do it like this. I like this colour, actually. This is really nice. So Auguste is founded by two French brothers. They actually make their bags in a workshop in Italy. They have a flagship store in Paris where anyone is welcome to visit them so you can see all the range that they have. They don't only have a website, uh, they have a physical store as well. So if you're in Paris, I would definitely recommend uh, visiting uh, August and having a look at what they have. They ship worldwide and the shipping is free. So just to let you know, you I do have a discount code, guys, uh, for 10% off. The discount code is jessie 10 So, um, you know, this is not an affiliate link or anything. I'm just being honest here. I was not paid to make this video i simply just wanted the bag so i um yeah i have a little special discount code for you guys uh, if you want to purchase anything from august uh, as i said i think they're really beautifully made bags really good value if you're looking for something low-key minimal and timeless yeah go check them out guys or you can so let's see what it looks like crossbody guys sorry about this hip angle but you can definitely oh it's a good hip drop as well that's cute oh oh my gosh this is actually really nice and then this is a perfect e evening bag let's just see what fits inside i grabbed a few random objects so let's just see what fits hopefully you can see this hip angle okay maybe i should just, actually i'm just gonna get down and um <laughs> i'm being silly okay so let's just see what fits so it opens up really easily and then it definitely will fit my, one My Little Pony in there. Can I just leave the hair? That could be like a little bag kind of accessory just there. And then we can put just one more pony. Um, we'll put the hair inside there and we'll probably fit, whew, will it fit one more? Yes. So it will probably fit three My Little Ponies. Like, does fit three My Little Ponies with one tail hanging out, as you can see. But if you don't want to carry My Little Ponies, you can definitely fit in, like, some everyday objects that you might want to carry about out on the town. This is an iPhone 12 mini, but I think it would easily fit, like, a... Um, it could fit, like, honestly, like, four phones in there, to be honest. Um, I don't know where my keys are, but I've got my passport holder here. I'm just going to slot that in as well, you know, just say if you're traveling. I've got my Hermes lipstick holder, um, just for, you know, touch up. I'm going to slide that down there as well. Look at all that room in there, guys. It's even got a slip pocket, so you probably don't even need to use a wallet. You can just put your cards in there, but I do have a Kelvy card holder that I'm going to slot in. And I actually picked this up on eBay the other day. It's an Hermes miniature notebook, but I need to get a notebook that's the right size, but... Yeah, I want it in auction. It's like a Verso. How cool, right? It's like purple with pink. Anyway, that I just, I know, what the hell, why do I need this? But anyway, it fits in the bag as well. So it does fit a decent amount and then really easy to close. Like you just shut it like that. Um, now this is a smooth leather, so I think it will get scratched. But because it's not like... It probably like smooth out over time. You know, sometimes you get like a smooth leather bag, it gets scratched, but then over time, as you use it, like the oils on your hands kind of like make it patina and it will probably just blend back into the bag. Thank you so much, Atelier's August, for gifting me this bag. Honestly, I'm going to wear it on my birthday. It's going to be a great like going out bag. I think it's really neutral as well. And I'm just so excited to wear it, actually. Oh, let me show you guys. I'm going to gift my friend. It's my other friend's birthday as well. And I bought them this plushie. How cute is it? It's a it's a toast. And it's <laughs> it's by Russ. They have this range called Bum Bums. And they have, like, really squishy bums. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, it kind of matches my new bag. So, so cute. Anyways, I'm really excited, actually. This is really nice because I don't actually have 
anything like this anymore like a chain bag and that is just really light and comfy i'm loving it so um yeah if you want to check out this brand i would recommend it honestly i'm gonna test this out and um you know wear it around i think i don't know if i probably won't take it out if it's raining i don't think that will be very good for the bag but yeah it feels really robust honestly and if you look at the uh the details so like some of the finishing like the lacquering looks amazing compared to like louis vuitton like and even like hermes does this really thin lacquering you can see they've really taken time into making this bag this does feel like a luxury bag so yeah i, I like it guys like it does have some subtle branding on it but it feels really beautiful so i think for the price if you want something low-key that looks kind of stylish like it definitely has a bit of a like a french like yeah like minimal chic look so yeah let me know what you think guys and have you tried anything from this brand before and what do you think uh, they have many other like minimalistic styles as well and i think it's good to support smaller brands because you never know these smaller brands could become more famous one day and they could even uh, rival some of the lu bigger luxury brands in the future if they you know gain popularity and they grow and that sort of thing so i think it's good to support smaller brands not only because they can some you can sometimes get better quality products but you can also save a lot of money and buy bags that you know look stylish and not like what everyone else has as well thanks so much for watching guys hope you enjoyed my little unboxing and i'll talk to you guys on my next one bye